All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert between temperature scales. And the scales that I'm going to show you today are the Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin scales. So really, all you need to do is just commit these two formulas to memory. Uh, the top one involves Celsius and Fahrenheit, and the bottom one involves Celsius and Kelvin. So the top one says degrees Celsius equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1.8. So all you need to do is uh, plug your known value into this equation and then solve for your unknown. And the bottom one says that uh, to get Kelvins, all you do is you take your degrees Celsius and you add 273.15. And uh, the interesting thing about this bottom equation here is that the change of one degree Celsius is exactly the change of one Kelvin. So uh, degrees Celsius and Kelvin, they have the same numerical, uh, numerical value. However, uh, the, temp the scale is simply offset by 273.15. So let's go through an example real quick. Here we have 42.00 degrees Celsius, and uh, we want to convert that to Fahrenheit and also to Kelvins. So really all we need to do is just apply our formula here. Degrees Celsius, we'll start with Fahrenheit. Degrees Celsius equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 over 1.8. So let's just uh, plug 42.00 degrees Celsius into the formula and see if we can't solve for degrees Fahrenheit. I'll leave that there. So we have 42.00 degrees Celsius equals whatever our value of degrees Fahrenheit is, minus 32 over 1.8. Well, we need to get the degrees Fahrenheit by itself, and uh, the only way to do that so far is to multiply both sides by 1.8. So I'm going to do just that. These two 1.8s cancel, and we're left with 1.8 times... 42.00 degrees Celsius equals degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. Almost done. All we have to do is just solve for degrees Fahrenheit by adding 32 to both sides. These 32s cancel, and we're left with degrees Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times 42.00 degrees Celsius that whole quantity plus 32. And if you put that into your calculator, you'll get 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you had a temperature of, if you had like a body temperature of 42.00 uh, degrees Celsius, uh, you would be in deep, deep trouble because that's pretty hot. All right, uh, let's move on to Kelvin. Grab another sheet of paper here. So what is 42.00 degrees Celsius in Kelvin? This one's actually a lot easier than the previous one. All we have to do is just plug it in and solve. So we get Kelvin equals 42.00 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Spit that into a calculator and you get 315.15 Kelvins. So that means that 42.00 degrees Celsius is... 107.6 degrees Fahrenheit and 315.15 Kelvin. And that's how you do it. Uh, one tip that I'd like to add is that uh, Kelvins can never be negative. So if you if you if you have trouble, you know whether or not to. I used to have trouble with uh, you know we're trying to remember when to add 273.15 or when to subtract 273.15. And the tip that I like to pass on to people is that Kelvins cannot be negative. So if you do this formula and you end up with a negative value of, Kel uh, of Kelvin, be suspicious that you may have messed up somewhere. Probably, you know, you should have added 
273.15 but you subtracted it so just watch out for that uh, this stuff is pretty straightforward so good luck with it